Mechanical engineering is a vast field that touches many aspects of our daily lives. From the car we drive to the machines in factories. Mechanical engineers design, build and maintain many of the things we use. For anyone new to the field or just curious, here are some of the most common mechanical engineering terms explained in simple language. Mechanical engineering is a branch of engineering focused on designing, analyzing and manufacturing mechanical systems. The study of bodies at rest or in equilibrium is called statics. Dynamics is the study of bodies in motion. A push or pull that can change the motion of an object is called force. Torque is a force that causes rotational motion. Force applied per unit area is called stress. Strain is the deformation resulting from applied stress. Material science is a study of properties and behavior of materials. Thermodynamics is the study of heat and energy transfer. The movement of thermal energy between objects is called heat transfer. Fluid mechanics is the study of behavior of fluids. The study of air and gas motion particularly around objects is called aerodynamics. Kinematics is the study of motion without regard to its causes. Differential equations are equations that involve derivatives of functions. Mechanism is a system of parts that move together to perform a function. Energy possessed by an object due to its motion is called kinetic energy. Stored energy that has the potential to do work is called potential energy. The force opposing the relative motion between surfaces is called frictional force. Tribology is the study of friction, wear and lubrication. Oscillatory motion around an equilibrium position is called vibration. Computer aided design is the use of computer system to aid in creating, modifying and optimizing design. Computer aided manufacturing. It is the use of computer systems to control manufacturing processes. Finite element analysis is a numerical technique used to predict how object react to external forces. Automated control of machining tools 
using computers is called as computer numerical control. Gear is a mechanical component that transfers motion between shafts. Piston is a component that moves within a cylinder commonly found in engines. Crankshaft is a rotating shaft that converts linear piston motion into rotational motion. A mechanism that converts rotatory motion into linear motion is called cam. Welding is the process of joining materials by melting them together. The maximum stress a material can withstand while being stretched or pulled is called tensile strength. The maximum shear stress a material can withstand is called shear strength. The slow permanent deformation of a material under constant load over time is called creep. The weakening or failure of a material due to repeated stress is called Fatigue. Bearings are mechanical devices used to reduce friction between moving parts. Shaft is a rotating component that transmits torque in mechanical systems. Torsion is a twisting of an object due to an applied torque. Hooke's law is a principle that states stress is proportional to strain in elastic materials. Young's modulus is a measure of the stiffness of a material. Pressure applied to a confined fluid is transmitted undiminished in all directions is called Pascal's law. Hydraulics is the use of liquids to generate, control and transmit power. Pneumatics is the use of compressed air or gas to transmit power. Thermal expansion is the increasing in a material's volume due to temperature rise. Coefficient of thermal expansion is a measure of how much a material expands when heated. Heat exchanger is a device that transfers heat between two or more fluids. Carnot cycle is a theoretical thermodynamic cycle for maximum efficiency. Rankine cycle is a thermodynamic cycle used primarily in steam power plants. Refrigeration is a process of removing heat from a space or substance to lower its temperature. Compressor is a device that increases the pressure of gases by reducing their volume. Condenser is a device that converts gas into liquid by cooling it. Nozzle is a device used to accelerate fluid flow. The resistance of an object to change in its state of motion 
is called as inertia liver is a simple machine used to amplify force gyroscope is a device that uses rotational motion to maintain stability flywheel is a device used to store rotational energy coupling is a device used to connect two shafts together the ability of a material to deform under tensile stress without breaking is called ductility the ability of a material to return to its original shape after deformation is called elasticity modulus of elasticity is a measure of material's stiffness the stress at which a material begins to deform permanently is called yield strength machining is a process of removing material from a workpiece to shape it casting is a process of forming objects by pouring molten material into a mold shaping metal through compressive force is called as forging warm gear is a gear resembling a screw that engages with a toothed wheel bevel gear is a gear with a teeth cut at an angle to engage with another gear at an angle bearing clearance is the gap or space between moving parts in a bearing hessian contact stress is the stress between two curved surfaces in contact hydrostatics is the study of fluids at rest hydrodynamics is the study of fluids in motion motion that moves back and forth in a straight line is called as reciprocating motion throttle is a device used to regulate fluid flow entropy is a measure of the disorder or randomness in a system vapor compression cycle is a refrigeration cycle that involves compressing a vapor cooling it and expanding it material selection is the process of choosing suitable materials for a particular application lubrication is the process of applying a substance to reduce friction between surfaces bolt is a fastener with external threads used to assemble components nut is a fastener with internal threads that works with a bolt the distance between threads on a screw is called thread pitch tolerance is the allowable deviation from a specified dimension cavitation is the formation of vapor bubbles in a liquid typically due to rapid change in pressure draft angle is an angle applied to a mold to facilitate the removal of the molded part
एरगनोमिक्स इज द स्टडी ऑफ डिजाइनिंग एक्विपमेंट एंड सिस्टम्स फॉर ह्यूमन यूज एंड कंफर्ट जॉल्सर स्टेट दट द हीट प्रोड्यूस्ड इन ए कंडक्टर इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू द स्क्वेयर ऑफ द करंट रैक एंड पिनियन इज ए मैकेनिकल सिस्टम दट कन्वर्ट्स रोटेशनल मोशन इंटू लीनियर मोशन मिलिंग इज ए मशीनिंग प्रोसेस दट इन्वॉल्व कटिंग मेटीरियल टू शेप एन ऑब्जेक्ट लेथ इज ए मशीन टूल यूज फॉर रोटेटिंग ए वर्क पीस टू परफॉर्म वेरियस ऑपरेशन सचेस कटिंग और सैंडिंग मेक वेल्डिंग इज ए वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस दट यूजेस ए कंटिन्यूस वायर एंड एन इनर्ट गैस बकलिंग इज ए स्ट्रक्चरल फेल्यूर ड्यू टू कॉम्प्रेसिव स्ट्रेस डक्ट वर्क इज ए सिस्टम ऑफ डक्ट यूजड फॉर एयर और गैस फ्लो थ्रोटल वैल इज ए वैल यूज टू कंट्रोल द फ्लो ऑफ फ्लूड वॉटर शेडिंग इज ए फिनोमिना where alternating vortices are formed as fluid flow past a body hertz is a unit of frequency representing cycle per second ohms law is a law that relates voltage current and resistance in electrical circuits Fillet is a rounded corner, either on the inside or outside of an object. Vernier caliper is a precision measuring tool used to measure dimensions with high accuracy. Manifold is a device that distributes fluid to multiple outlets. an object that does not deform under load is called as rigid body ball bearings is a type of bearings that uses walls to reduce friction between moving parts the outward force experienced by an object in circular motion is called as centrifugal force creep curve is a graph that shows materials deformation over time under constant stress hydraulic pump is a device that moves fluid by converting mechanical energy into hydraulic energy impeller is a rotating component in a pump or a turbine that transfers energy to the fluid dynamo is a device that generates electrical power through mechanical energy conversion the process of reducing oscillation or vibration in a system is called as damping for more such informative content subscribe to gaze how